Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my 2023 Pandas Eyeshadows finale video. So excited we are here. I just filmed my Project Pan finale video, so really just cranking out these finale videos and I said in that video, and I'll say it again, thank you so much for following along with my panning journey this year. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you all have too. I feel like it's been so fun to film it for all of you and I've really enjoyed all the progress that I've made on panning this year. It's funny, I just took a look to see how many eyeshadows I hit pan on just through this project. I've hit pan on a couple eyeshadows outside of this project, but I just took a look and I hit pan on seven eyeshadows, which is funny because I finished seven products in my project pan this year and I'm pretty sure that I either hit pan on seven eyeshadows or finished seven products in one of my projects last year as well so apparently seven is the lucky number I guess I don't know hopefully we can up that next year but either way I am so proud of all the progress that we have made and how I'm going to do this video for you today is just talk about the five eyeshadows that I've currently been working on unfortunately no new pans I just want to give you an update on how well those ones have been going over the last month or so then give you an update on my numbers and then talk about all the pans all seven pans that I hit in this project I am really proud of them so I did want to give them a little spotlight in this video and really hopefully all of you are getting even more excited to see the kickoff video in January those are always my absolute favorite to film especially with this project because you get to randomly select five new eyeshadows and randomly selecting the eyeshadows is like the favorite part of these videos in general for me so but normally you only get to do like one at a time so very excited to be able to select five again so definitely stay tuned for that kickoff video in January but Let's go ahead and talk about the eyeshadows that I have been using in December. And while I did not hit pan, I made some really good progress on a few of them. I'm going to start with Disco Fox Il Maquillage Palette and this shade right here called Dream On. Unfortunately, I only used this two times this month and to be just totally frank with you, progress on this eyeshadow has been kind of slow for a while now. I have definitely used this palette more in general having it in this project. It's just been easy to grab for and I do really enjoy that shade. It's a beautiful purple but definitely something that I probably wear more in the summer and not so much right now. I am wearing it today because I did want to get more use on it than just one for this month so I did, I did apply it today to get two two but otherwise I don't think I probably would wear it very often in the like fall and winter months and so it's just kind of been used here and there but really enjoyed having this palette in the project and I like I said I love that shade I just preferred using it more in the warmer months an eyeshadow that I did use several times comes from my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and it is this shadow right here called beam I wore this nine times this month it's just like such an easy inner corner highlight which is what I wore it for all nine times and honestly when I rolled it in I thought I was going to be able to hit pan on it I have not but you will see in the progress clips that we have some pretty good progress on this one and it could be something if I don't have an inner corner highlight rolled into my project next year that I just kind of work on on the side and hit pan on, which would be great because that would help my pan percentage outside of this project, which is what I like to do with kind of like crease shadows if I don't have one in this project as well. The next shadow comes from my Naked palette. It is this shade right here called Toasted. I use this six times this month, and honestly, I'm a little disappointed because I think I'm very close to hitting pan on this, but I did not quite make it in this project, and so this could be another one that I just perhaps pick it up and try and get it finished on the side or since I'm going to have about a week between kicking off the next project I just kind of use keep using this if I put makeup on and try and hit pan on it which maybe I will do I don't know but I thought I could possibly get that one to pan and we are very very close just looking at my other shadows in this palette that have pan like we'll get to it at some point so another shadow from my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette that's been in this project is this one right here called Queen I use this five times and as you'll see from the close-ups and maybe even right now we have a pretty good dip going in this one as well I feel like I was close on several of these eyeshadows to hitting pan so happy to see the progress in the eyeshadows a little disappointed that we didn't quite get there but that's okay I really did enjoy that one for this time of year it was been great having it in the project it's just such a beautiful gold shade and so it really worked for a lot of like my holiday looks that I put on and I loved wearing it with a red lip which I did yesterday for Christmas so yeah 
it was a great one to have in this project and I'm really happy that I rolled it in. And then I also rolled in a new one last month and that comes from my Lorac Pro palette and it is this shade right here called Nude. I used this eight times and not a ton of like visible progress on here but if this would have been in this project for multiple months, I think I would have easily hit pan on it. But I've been looking forward to having this palette in this project since the beginning because I do think at some point I wanna do a pan this palette with this, but I wanted to get more progress on some of the other shades. As you can see, there was a ton of pan on some of these and then like none on others, and Nude did not have a lot of progress. Happy to get eight uses on that and get some progress there, but definitely we need to see some more pans in this palette before I ever try and do a, a pan that palette with this. And those are the updates for the eyeshadows that I have been working on for the last month or so. And like I said, really happy with all the progress. Unfortunately, we did not hit any new pans, but we were very close. I'm happy no matter what with that. And let's go ahead and talk about my numbers and then also talk about all seven eyeshadows that I hit pan on this year. So my numbers are staying the same as they were last month with me having 212 eyeshadows in my collection. 14 of those are single shadows, 198 of those are across 11 different palettes, and I have 29 pans in my collection, which leaves my pan percentage at 13.68%. So really proud of that. I wanted to hit 15% this year. Unfortunately, we didn't get there, so honestly, that's probably gonna be my goal for next year, which might seem like super easy because we're very close. But I plan on purchasing two eyeshadow palettes before the beginning of January, so that's going to obviously lower my pan percentage. So you might try and go for 15% in 2024 as well. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the seven eyeshadows though that I did work on and hit pan this year. So I'm going to kick us off with my ABH Nouveau palette and I worked on this shade right here called Belle and was able to hit a pan on this. And I really enjoyed wearing this eyeshadow. I thought it was a really pretty shimmer shade, really like more neutral. And so I was able to easily wear that for work, which I think is one of the reasons why I was able to hit pan on this. And I also just enjoyed using this palette because it is a relatively new one to my collection. So it was nice having in this project. And then I hit a couple pans in my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. The first one is this shade right here called Faint. This one again, Super easy to use because it was just a light pink shimmery shade. And then I also hit pan on this one right here called Diva. This one was not easy to use. This one was tough, but I just kept working on it and working on it and we ended up being able to hit pan on this project. And that's kind of part of the fun of this project in general is because sometimes you're going to roll an easy eyeshadow in that you'll be able to work through and hit pan especially if like you roll in like a crease shade or something. And sometimes you're gonna roll in something that is much more challenging and you just kind of wear it a few times a month or whatever you can do until you hit pan. And luckily I was able to do that with this one. So I'm really happy about that. Another pan that I hit comes from another ABH palette. This is my Jackie Ina palette. And I hit pan on the shade Lituation. Again, another really pretty one that I enjoyed wearing. Definitely more on the neutral side, a little darker, but I was able to wear this to work. Excited about a new pan in this palette. I love seeing usage on my palette, so it's really exciting. I actually think I have, yes, I have three pans in this palette and they were all from a Pan Those Eyeshadows project, which I think is pretty cool. I hit pan on an eyeshadow from my ColourPop So Jaded palette, which I'm really proud of because these are tough to hit pan on. And it is this shade right here called Geodude. I use this as a crease shade, so I was able to get a ton of usage out of it as that and get a tiny little pan in there, which I'm really proud of. So definitely want to continue hitting pan on this palette. It's just these are really tightly pressed, and so you got to use them a lot to really see any real progress on those. From my Jaclyn Hill Morphe Volume 2 palette on this shade right here called The Good Place, this one was another one like Diva where I just, I worked on it for a really long time and the progress was slow for a really, really long time and then we were finally able to hit pan on it. And I did really enjoy wearing this as a liner. That's one of the things that I discovered toward the end and like loved wearing it like that. In the beginning it was pretty tough, but once I figured out a way to enjoy wearing it, it actually made it a lot easier, which is 
one thing that you kind of figure out while you're panning. And then the last pan of eyeshadow for this project is my Makeup Geek Bitten Eyeshadow, and as you can see, I hit a little pan on this one, and I'm really proud of that as well because this is definitely an older one in my collection. If you watched my Project Pan video, you know that I finished up a Makeup Geek eyeshadow in my Project Pan, and so really happy to have hit a pan on one and finished one of those up um, as part of this year's projects because these are definitely older ones in my collection. So that is it. Those are all the pans of eyeshadow that I hit this year. I'm super, super proud of all of the work that I put into this project this year and I hope all of you enjoyed watching it. It's funny that I say like all of the work because it is so much fun, but it's also like, you know, you have to focus on the products that you're using and definitely make an effort to use them and hit pan. So I guess it's like work in quotes, but I hope all of you enjoyed getting to see the progress that I made in all of these eyeshadows this year. And I hope you're even more excited to kick off the new series in 2024 because I certainly am. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.